Hi, this is Scott Erickson with DTG. Today we're going to talk about a new piece of software that we're providing to our customers called Mirage. We're really excited about this software in that we believe it's truly a game changer in how you're going to print to your Epson Stylus Pro graphics printer. Mirage is kind of a hybrid between a RIP and a plug-in. It basically plugs into Adobe Professional products including Photoshop. It's an extremely powerful piece of software in that it allows you to do nesting, step and repeat, automatic gallery wrap build, and also can even allow you to build your own ICC profiles with an optional spectra proofer. Mirage is also extremely simple to use and operate. It's, it's wizard driven, um, very simple, piggybacks off of uh, standard industry ICC profiles, and uh, just again plugs right into Photoshop. Finally, it's an extremely affordable product. Uh, Mirage costs hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars less than the other RIP softwares out there for Epson Pro Graphics printers. Uh, so what we're going to do today is demonstrate Mirage's features and then also towards the end of the video we'll let you know how you can save some money on Mirage. As we mentioned before, Mirage plugs into Adobe products including Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. By plugging into Illustrator and InDesign, it allows us to print vector graphics directly out of those applications. Traditionally, this was done with very expensive PostScript RIP software, but now I can do it with Mirage. So let's uh, show you how Mirage works in Adobe Photoshop. So to print with Mirage, I'm just going to go down to File, Automate, and then Mirage Print. Once the plugin is launched, you can see two distinct windows, a documents window and a Mirage print with all of our settings and then a preview of our layout. It's important to note that this layout is a direct representation of what you would see coming out of the printer as you're standing in front of it. So over here is the right side of the, of the printer and the, uh, the image coming out of it. Very good intuitive way to visually look at how your, your images are going to come out of the printer. So going down these settings, we'll just work from top to bottom and show you what each does. In the print to, this is the uh, area where I select which printer I'm going to print to. Now you can see a variety of lists of printers and a really cool thing about Mirage Master Edition is when you buy it once, it supports as many Epson printers as you have. So you don't have to purchase any additional licenses for those printers. So if you had 15 9900s and two 4900s, you can print to all of them with one copy of Mirage. Down here is a list of our media types. These are basically um, all of our media types, including all the standard Epson ones, as well as custom ones that you may have, including the variety of uh, media settings and ICC profiles that DTG offers. Now this list can be customized by just clicking on settings and then clicking on your custom media and if you wanted to shorten that list because you never print on plain paper or this particular fine art paper um, you can really simplify that list simply by customizing it now you'll have a much shorter list and it will only show you the media types that you print on really nice the uh, Quality settings are right over here. Um, basically, I can pick speed versus quality, including all the standard resolutions that I would have with my Epson driver. Uh, moving on down, we have the uh, source, which is going to control whether you want to print on roll or sheet or cut the media. We can also specify a certain size of sheet if we have some custom scrap sheets left over. So I could just simply type in 23, and you'll see my preview will change, showing a 23-inch sheet. I can also just pick quickly from the standard size from this list. So these are all your standard roll sizes from Epson and other media manufacturers. Uh, you can also control whether you want to print with a border or do borderless. Uh, the rotation feature moving down here is really nice. By leaving it on automatic, Mirage will automatically rotate the image to best fit or best save media. Um, I can simply turn that off. I can go to unrotated because as you can see in Photoshop my image is tall and it brings it in as Photoshop had it. But by automatically rotating it, I automatically save media. All right, moving down to placement, uh, here's where I'm going to control my nesting and I'll show you that when we actually show you a group of, of images. Image size. Mirage is going to bring in the image at the size that you have it created in Photoshop. So here it's 16 by 19. I could also fit the image to a page, fit it to the width, or specify a custom size, whatever I want here. 
All right, if you want to take it back to the original size, just click this 100% button. Moving down here to border, border is really nice because it allows you to actually print custom borders. So you could first create like a two inch empty border. And th what this does is create border uh, white space or empty space around the image. All right. You can also print a colored border. So I could click on this, this color picker and actually choose a custom color right from my standard color chooser. I could also pick a color that's within the image. So if I wanted to complement the colors of the image, simply drag your eye, uh, eyedropper over part of the image that you want and then select. All right. This is probably one of the cooler features of Mirage for the people that are doing fine art, and that's mirrored image. By doing mirrored image, it will create an automatic gallery wrap or border um, so that you can stretch around stretcher bars. No more uh, time-consuming cloning in Photoshop. So basically you can control the width of that border just by typing in a value here and then doing the mirrored image and you can see in the preview it's actually showing you where that image is going to be bordered. Now the white lines are not going to print, it's just a preview to show you where that's going to be um, flipped and mirrored for that gallery wrap. All right, we'll just go back to empty and then I'll zero out the border. Moving down here to position, uh, pretty common sense. Do I want it left or right justified? Do I want to center uh, horizontally or do I manually want to take this image, click on it and put it where I want it on the page? So all of those features available. The print marks are pretty self-explanatory. I can print crop marks and um, center crop marks and calibration bars. I can also do a label which will uh, tag each and every file that's printed with a date and timestamp. Um, also ICC profile media setting and this allows you to basically um, stamp the images which can be really helpful if you're allowing images to cure and you want to see how long ago they were printed. Um, that's really useful for the label. All right, finally down here in color, uh, this is pretty standard um, stuff here. Do I want to print color, grayscale, or do I want to create a profile? Um, rendering intent, again, the same thing as Photoshop's rendering intent as far as profile conversion. All right, over here, we'll move to the document. Say I want to print multiple copies. I want to step and repeat images. What I'll do is I'll come over to the documents window, and I'll just specify that number of copies right here in the dialog box. So as you can see I type in four and Mirage automatically lays those images out intelligently saving all the media it can. Now I can also control the space in between those copies uh, just specifying a gap value right over here. Um, so a lot of control over multiple copies. Within Mirage you'll notice now in the documents window I've got four copies of this image. So what's really cool is I can individually select on these images and I can actually custom size each image to its own specification. So as I move through, I can specify different sizes for all of these individual copies. All right, we'll simply take this back to one and actually run a print. So let me take this back to 100%. and we'll hit print. Now when I hit print, Mirage sends it to a queue. All right, that queue um, can hold multiple jobs. So as you're lining up print jobs, you can send them to the print queue. And we'll take a look at that right here. Right here I've got it paused so that you can see how the images stack up in the Mirage queue. As I roll my cursor over, I get a preview of every image that's in the queue. And I can reprioritize these. So if I need to print this one, which is last in the queue, I need to print it next. I can just simply drag and drop, and now it'll be ready to print next. So a lot of flexibility with the print queue. Let's go back to Photoshop and show you how to print multiple images with Mirage. So to do that, I'm going to go to File Automate instead of print, I'm going to say print all. And what that's going to do is basically every image that I've got open in Photoshop, it's going to send it to the Mirage plugin. Once it's in the plugin, you'll notice it's basically automatically and intelligently nested those images together to save media. And here, again, you can control the space in between copies. All right, if you need a little bit more distance in between those copies, you can just type that value in right here. All right. So again, all the same kinds of settings within here. I can also print multiple copies of each image. So if I needed two copies, 
of that image and I needed two of this as Mirage adds these images you'll see that it moves them around again to save as much media as it possibly can for you okay so again once I'm ready to print I would just hit the print button and it would send it to the print queue all right so let's go back to um, automate one more time and show you one more feature of Mirage within Mirage I can also print contact sheets so with the grid by changing placement to grid I can I can basically size my images to custom sizes alright so we'll just set the grid width to 6 or I could set the grid width to 8 and whatever size I specify in there it's gonna size that image alright and fit it within there this allows me to print contact sheets very quickly and very easily including a label along with those so I can uh, name the file and see when it's printed so that's how Mirage works as we mentioned earlier if you mention this video uh, when you call DTG uh, you can save fifty dollars on a purchase of Mirage the, the product the master edition costs six forty nine so by mentioning this video to your DTG sales rep you can save fifty dollars uh, you can reach us at 800-681-0024 or online at www.dtgweb.com. Also, look for a separate video in which we'll demonstrate the capabilities of the Mirage Pro extension. The Pro extension allows you to basically build your own custom ICC profiles with the optional Epson Spectra Proofer. Thank you.